many of you here in this place today would love, 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 love a conflict-free life? Show of hands. <laughs> wow, look at that, unanimous. What would you right now at this moment give up in order to gain this conflict-free life? What would you give up to have this incredible, blissful, empowering life that will get you a lot more places than conflict? What would you be willing to give up? If I were to have you write three things, just three, that you're willing to give up, how many of y'all would really, 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 truly be honest with that list and say, you know what, Lourdes, I definitely need to give up these three things. I'm Lourdes Valdez. I am honored to be with you today. And one of the things we're going to share, one of the things I'm going to share with you today, and we're going to share among each other, is the importance of acknowledging, understanding the methods, the decisions, the changes that we are able to make in order to obtain absolutely everything we want in our lives and stay away from the stuff that's hindering us. It's completely hindering us. But here's the one thing that I want you all to understand. I want you to understand and grasp this as we talk about conflict management in the workplace. In the workplace. But I want you to think about right now is that word workplace that's Subdivided into two words, but I want you to focus on the word place. I want you to focus on the word place because the place that this begins is right here. The changes that one must undergo has to be, has to be set from right here, has to begin right here. And you're saying, where? Here? Where? Within self. See, we have no control, absolutely none, to when it comes to changing the world around us, waiting for others to do what we expect them to do. When the reality of it is, is that we first must understand that changes have to occur within ourselves. Decisions right here have to be made in this place in order for our workplace, our home place, and everything else that our presence requires of us will be peaceful, joyful, empowering, motivational, and productive. So you say to me, okay, Lord, I said, what, 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 how, do I, how do I start? How do I start? Well, I want to share with you, I'm going to share with you incredible testimonies of my own personal life with you today because a lot of my mistakes in the past have brought me to the place that I'm here today. I've had incredible amount of struggles. I've had incredible amount of things that I look back now and I say, how on earth did I survive? How did I survive? And thank God that I did, but here's, here's the most amazing thing that I could give to you today, the most empowering tool that I can share with you that you may not even you may realize you have, but you don't recognize it. You have it. And it's right here. It's in the mind. See, our thoughts are so powerful. And we, we hear about this all the time. We listen to motivational speakers. We listen to conference speakers. And they all tell you, oh, what you think about is going to create who you become. And we hear it over and over and over and over again. But it's until we do make a decision to apply what we know into our lives, set the guidelines, set our self rules, which I'm going to share with you, which are the daily disciplines that I abide by on a daily basis. I can't live without my daily disciplines. I can't. I figured it out. I finally got it. Lourdes, you are not going to be anywhere that you want to be. You're not going to become anything you don't become that you want to become unless you follow these guidelines. And so I've got it. But here's the thing that going back to the mind, going back to the thoughts, the words that we use 
in our daily vocabulary derive from the thoughts that come to our minds. Every thought, good or bad, that we think of, we create a belief. We create a belief system with. So we think about a particular thought, and it could be good or bad. Doesn't matter. We think about it often enough, it's going to turn into a belief. Now you believe what you've been thinking about, whether it's right or wrong. And that belief, in a matter of time, is going to force you to take action, whether it's a good action or not so good of an action, based on what you set your mind to believe.